Before you get started setting up your QuickBooks Online integration in Lou, we'd like to reveal our top 10 tips to make this a successful journey. Tip number one. Before activating the integration and so that you can easily compare the accounts from one system to another, we recommend you create the following 5GL accounts in QuickBooks Online. Cash on hand for tracking cash and check transactions. Merchant clearing for tracking credit card and electronic transactions. Accounts receivable, a current asset account for customer activity. Inventory, a current asset account for tracking inventory. And purchases accrued, not due, a current liability account for tracking purchases. Tip number two. To set up an integration with QuickBooks Online, generic customer and vendor fields are required for exporting and creating journal entries. Tip number three. Change the chart of accounts in lieu to have the same account numbers and names as QuickBooks Online. Also, ensure that the control accounts match for accurate balancing. Tip number four. Export your transactions to QuickBooks Online daily for the most accurate and up-to-date cash balance information and to maintain consistent data accuracy. Tip number five. Use standard naming conventions for your GL export batches by creating a standard naming convention for all batches exported to QuickBooks Online. This will help identify batches intended for QuickBooks Online import. Tip number six. As an additional measure, Export the same batch to a spreadsheet after importing to QuickBooks Online. This creates an audit trail for the journal entries. Tip number seven. In lieu, for accounts receivable, run the AR aging report and or customer report. For inventory, run the inventory valuation report. For purchases accrued not due, review the GL account balance in QuickBooks Online. This will help verify the PAND account matches outstanding purchase orders in lieu. Tip number eight. Before closing your month end, review your Export General Ledger page to determine if there are voided transactions in previously exported batches. If so, research voided transactions in lieu to make appropriate journal entry updates in QuickBooks Online. Tip number nine. Ensure you close your accounting periods at the end of each month to prevent further adjustments and avoid accounting issues when exporting to QuickBooks Online. And tip number 10. For specific processes within QuickBooks Online, contact Intuit support experts or refer to their online knowledge base. And if you're ready to set up the integration in Lou, go to lusupport.evasys.com and search QBO to find the article titled how to use the QuickBooks Online Integration.